and our lives are about to change. Oh, look at that. That is brilliant. And I'm having to like plumb that and it's a big job. It's a big job. Hello world, hello world, policial, policial, you copy? A month or so ago, Ryan and I woke up at 4 a.m. in the middle of the night to go welcome our friends who had just sailed for three days from Martinique. Good morning! Hey guys! Now, we love our friends, and mooring in Bonaire is difficult to do in the dark, so that made sense. But there was something else we were excited about. Coming to Bonaire from Martinique, our friends were transporting in their boat a piece of equipment that we had bought without even seeing. Something that is so rare and difficult to find. Something that I had been longing for in years. How's your level of excitement, Ryan, right now? It's pretty now? high, yeah. Da, 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 da. How do you want to do this? I can just carry it. Okay, okay. Sure. I'll just do you get out of your way. Or no, no, no. You, wanna... you got it. You go. <laughs> so this is it. Yay! Hello there. This is a combo washer and dryer, and we are going to install it on Polisil. And our lives are about to change. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Got it? Oh, it's a, it's a... Nice. We have a washing machine, Ryan! To be completely honest with you, we never intended on buying a washing machine. We always wanted to keep our boat simple and it would be really difficult for us to do that without a water maker and our lithium batteries. For the longest part of our sailing journey, we did the laundry wherever we could and it wasn't necessarily economical. We paid 840 euros for it. We got a discount because it was the exhibition model, the very last one that the chandlery had in stock. And believe me when I say that for the last three years that we lived on board, we have spent way more than 840 euros in laundry. I was the first one to advocate for a washing machine on board. Ryan was not convinced at all until we started spending so much money on laundry and and I guess I let him walk all those kilometers with the 20 kilos of dirty laundry back and forth, waiting for hours. And uh, eventually one day. So, okay, can you repeat that for the camera? What did you just say? I think we should buy a washing machine. Daewoo Mini washing machines are really hard to find for a reason that I cannot explain, or actually maybe I can explain it. Anyways, if you look on Amazon, it's super impossible to find. We happen to find ours in Martinique, where apparently there is a cluster of them. And I actually held off a few weeks making this video because our friends at Catamaran Supply are working really hard to procure those washing machines so that they can sell them on their website. But apparently, Daewoo is not super responsive. So. If you are Daewoo or work at Daewoo, we, we just want to buy your washing machines. Look, you sell us your washing machines, you get to make money, we get to do the laundry. It's a total win-win. What's going on? So we are going to install the washing machine here on this corner of our boat, which is right by the door and this uh, cabinet where we store some clothes, some shoes, like a whole bunch of things. Yep. So we have two of these dirty laundry baskets. We are going to take them off, up, and replace them with the washing machine. So before the washing machine, we would do the laundry maybe every other week, every three weeks, depending on how accessible the laundry was. So our thinking is that we're going to get rid of one of those laundry baskets and do the laundry a little more regularly. Okay, made your bags of dirty laundry, goodbye. So before we start, we need to take these panels off because we need to see what's back here so that we know how to build up the structure a little bit to support this guy, the washing machine. So why do we need to support the washing machine? Because there's no weight inside, so it's gonna like vibrate a little bit and it it's a wall-mounted thing that's made to go in concrete. We don't have concrete here. 
obviously. <laughs> so we're gonna like make concrete out of epoxy and wood. <laughs> The installation of the machine was a delicate project, because on top of looking nice, it needed to be rock solid to absorb the vibrations created by the machine's centrifuge. We're going to need to build up the back to give it a support structure. And that's what we need a bit of help with, because uh, I could probably do it, but to do it well and make it look nice, uh, like having some experience, I think would help. So that's what we're going to do. So this is Leonard, and those are the skills that we are lacking. <laughs> Leonard is a Swedish sailor and super skilled boat builder who is currently building a catamaran from scratch. We thought that on the first day, Leonard was just gonna come and look at how he could install the machine, but no. Now, he came with all the tools, epoxy, fiberglass and wood that we needed for the project, and we started right away. We hadn't seen the machine before buying it, so we didn't have an opportunity to measure it ourselves. But we knew that we were going to have to make modifications to the shelf where we wanted to install it in order for it to fit. So the first thing that we did was to dismantle the shelf and pray, because uh, because we had no idea if uh, the machine was going to fit. And <laughs> that wasn't nerve-wracking at all. Oh, shit. Whoa! <laughs> it fits right in! Yeah, but we need to... Yeah, the, that is a peanut. So. But like, look at that, Ryan, it fits! Uh, also, it, uh, this will actually support it. Yeah? No. Okay, so, so far we have cut the board to give the machine some space at the bottom. Leonard is currently cutting the other piece of the board. The machine is gonna get a little stabilization and a little support from those boards. Hopefully it's good, hopefully it doesn't vibrate too much, but I think that we're gonna try to place some foam or some neoprene to absorb the vibrations. Uh, but it looks pretty good so far. Challenge number two was the shape of our hull. Our hull leans backwards, so we needed to build a structure that not only would absorb the vibrations, but would also allow the machine to sit upright. That looks amazing! Look at that! What do you think? I try not to. Because <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> No, I think it looks great. I would have really struggled to get this like this. So now because of the whole shape, which kind of goes out and down, uh, we've had to build up some sections. So we need to have the washing machine straight up and down, but the hull is not straight up and down. And then to make that straight against our curved hull, we've added in blocks of wood, and epoxy those in and then also put in epoxy filler which is epoxy mixed in with uh, actually some small wood chips and stuff into this which is really strong so that's all going to dry for a few hours and then we're going to come in this afternoon and fiberglass over this make it super strong and one make it kind of all one piece of the boat next we installed the bolts in the structure and tested their position to see if the machine fitted before reinforcing them with epoxy and fiberglass How's that? Yeah. Yay! So the washing machine fits. It fits and we got the cover on it. I just have to sand down a few pieces. This is like, without Leonard, I would have been fucked with this. I would have eventually got it, but it would have taken like a week. <laughs> so there we are. Got the screws in, the mounting screws. Leonard's mixing up some more filler. Sophie's cooking banana cake. This project was going smoothly in like suspiciously smoothly, you know, for a boat project. We let the epoxy cure for a few hours before fiberglassing the structure in place and eventually called it a successful day. I think breaking strength of this yeah. on each and every one, 500 kilo. Okay. Pulling. Mm. Okay. Just... Uh... So Sophie can hang off of it. <laughs> Okay, so yesterday we worked on the strength of the construction, making sure that the anchors are strong enough to withstand the load of the machine. And today we're working on how good the installation is going to look when it's done. Oh, look at that! That is brilliant! I can go up a little bit, so I guess that'll be on your side. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. That's there it. Final step. Final step. So right now I'm just screwing the cover in, which is turning out to be a little more challenging than I thought. And then we're just gonna close it up 
And then we need to wait for the pump. Plugged it in. Hallelujah. All right, guys, this is day two of the washing machine installation. And just as I was saying the other day, this is going way too easy. Okay, so first off, it's raining like hell. So that's awesome. This is not even too bad. It was way worse a couple of hours ago. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, if you thought that we spent our life under the tropical sun, there is that. But this, this is... Uh, this is the bigger deal. Everything all right, honey? No, I don't know. We'll see when we start it up. So, uh, welcome to my house. The washing machine does not have a pump to pump out the dirty water. So it's gravity fed and the washer is really close to the water line. On top of it, I don't want to put a through haul in the bow. So I've got, I found a pump that has a sensor that detects water from whale and I'm having to like plumb that and it's a big job. It's a big job. Yeah. So used water comes through this pipe, yeah. then activates the sensor here. Yeah, which then pumps the water through there. And, and then, then it out, pumps the water through this pipe. The and then it goes to the in here. And Ryan is gonna yeah, we'll tidy, up, like tidy up this. Then it goes to the gulper under here. All right. So the last thing we have to do, the last part of the install, is now trying the washing machine! Ah! And let me just preface this test by saying that I have a huge amount of laundry due to my washing fail from uh, last week's video. This is supposed to be open! No! <laughs> uh, Things. And look, 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 guys. The machine speaks French. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Ah! It works. I think that we are going to spend the full 29 minutes right here. No, we're not. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's working! Look at that! How does it look under the sink, Ryan? Yeah, it's good. This is so cool! Wow. I am, I have never been that fascinated with a washing machine ever. It does not vibrate at all. Like a little, the washer like vibrates just a little bit. It's really not so bad. Yay! Woohoo! Mmm, the smell of fresh laundry. Is it, is it good? It's amazing. Yeah. Win! Mega win! Amazing! I want to spend the I want to spend the night doing laundry, Ryan. We have been using our washing machine in over a month now, and it is an absolute life changer. Three kilos of laundry is a lot more than we originally thought. For bedding, we watch the dovet cover in one load and sheet and pillowcases in another load. Because the water we use gets right back into the sea, we use eco-friendly laundry strips that are plastic-free, biodegradable, and gentle on the coral that lives under us. We buy them from our friends at Catamaran Supply and they are a lot better to have on a boat than traditional laundry detergents. The daily program, which we mostly use, only takes 30 minutes, uses 25 to 30 liters of water and only uses 20 amp per hour. We weren't sure if paying more to have the dryer would do much for us, but I personally love it. We use it for sheets and towel and we can get the load completely dry in one hour. The only downside of the dryer is that it uses fresh water to cool off the heating element, which uses about as much water as the wash cycle, and we were not expecting that. The drying cycle also draws 50 amp hour, and it is the heating element that is the big power thief, drawing 1200 watts for a minute or so every 3 to 5 minutes. So as opposed to the wash cycle, we can't have the water maker running at the same time. But with our 680 amp hour of lithium batteries, our 3000 watts inverter, and our almost 1000 watts of solar panel, the setup works really well for us, and we haven't had to walk with 20 kilos of dirty laundry ever since.